Ukraine prosecutor has evidence of collusion W slash Dems US envoy stops him from giving to bar. A senior member of Ukraine's Prosecutor General's International Legal Cooperation Department told John Solomon that since last year, he's been blocked from getting visas for himself and a team to go to the US to deliver evidence of Democratic Party wrongdoing during the 2016 election to the DOJ. The senior prosecutor Kosti Anton Kolik never got an answer, and he says it's because the visas were blocked by the U.S. ambassador. The ambassador, Marie Eljovanovic is a career diplomat, since 1986, who served under both Democratic and Republicans and was appointed to her present position in August 2016 by former President Obama. In another instance, he said, Ukrainian authorities gathered evidence that money paid to an American Democrat allegedly was hidden by Ukraine's National Anti-Corruption Bureau, NABU, during the 2016 election under pressure from U.S. officials. In the course of this investigation, we found that there was a situation during which influence was exerted on the NAB, so that the name of, the American, would not be mentioned, he said. As we reported in late March, the Ukrainian government is known for being very corrupt, and that includes the head of NABU Artem Sytnyk. A different Ukrainian prosecutor is investigating SYTNYK for trying to help Hillary to win the 2016 election, which was initially reported two years ago by Politico. That suspected involvement by NABU which has a close relationship with the U.S. ambassador the FBI agents in Ukraine is the reason Mr. Kolik wanted to personally deliver the evidence to the DOJ rather than giving it to the American officials in his country. Kosti Anton Kolik told John Solomon their evidence includes, sworn statements from two Ukrainian officials admitting that their agency tried to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election in favor of Hillary Clinton. The effort included leaking an alleged ledger showing payments to then-Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort, contacts between Democratic figures in Washington and Ukrainian officials that involved passing along dirt on Donald Trump, financial records showing a Ukrainian natural gas company rooted more than $3 million to American accounts tied to Hunter Biden, younger son of then-Vice President Joe Biden, who managed U.S. Ukrainian relations for the Obama administration. Biden's son served on the board of a Ukrainian natural gas company, Burisma Holdings, records that Vice President Biden pressured Ukrainian officials in March 2016 to fire the prosecutor who oversaw an investigation of Burisma Holdings and who planned to interview Hunter Biden about the financial transfers, correspondence showing members of the State Department and U.S. Embassy in Kiev interfered or applied pressure in criminal cases on Ukrainian soil, disbursements of as much as $7 billion in Ukrainian funds that prosecutors believe may have been misappropriated or taken out of the country, including to the United States. And there's more because Kolik's boss, Prosecutor General Yuri Lutsenko, told me he has enough evidence particularly involving Biden to warrant a personal meeting with A.G. Barr. What is hard to understand is there have been reports of senior Ukraine officials trying to help Hillary win the election for two years, why hasn't the U.S. ambassador granted the prosecutor a visa? Is Ambassador Yovanovitch part of the deep state? This all smells. Now that John Solomon has reported the cover-up, hopefully, there will be pressure for an investigation. But don't expect any help from the MSM. They will continue to protect everything Hillary Clinton ever did or said and will continue to trash, misreport or lie about everything President Trump does or says. To hear the full story click the link below. Ukraine process.